Hello there everyone, this is Average Casual Gamer and this is my take on Steam Deck. So before we begin, like, subscribe, hit the notification button for more news and in fact, for more gaming news, gameplay and of course tips and many things, all right? And being a Stadia fan, Steam Deck is a very interesting device and let's take a look at it. So we have choose your Steam Deck, we have 499, 659 and 819. Let's talk about price first. So how much value are you getting on top of per iteration or rather the next step? So it's starting with base at 499. This is very interesting. We look roll back here because it's $160 to the next tier. Faster storage, carrying case, exclusive. No, we don't care about the exclusive. So there's two extra things or hardware changes. One hardware change and one, well, physical item. And then plus another $160, you get faster storage, which is a hardware upgrade. Premium anti-glare edge glass, which is a hardware as well. And carrying case, that, that exclusive steam comes out. We don't care about that too. So basically $160 worth. Are you getting more or are you getting the value of $160 per iteration? Let's check it out later. So before we begin, we will see what Steam Deck is good at. Portability meets power. Steam library anyway. Control with comfort. There, there's a dock too. This is actually what I want to get the official dock. But the question is, how much? And uh, official dock pop Steam Deck. Connecting the external device. Da, 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 da. Basically, it's a dock, right? Like a Nintendo Switch. Connect to TV. Put mouse and keyboard. Ta-da! So why there's the reserve fee? The main reason, yeah, we all know that this to prevent scalping. Then again, there's a lot of scalpers already, right? On eBay, you can easily check the price. It's quite a lot. So why is my account available place? Okay, that one is, we know there's a time limit, but now the time limit is available. That's why we see reserve now, and then it's after Quarter to next year, $5.70 Canadian. This is Canadian dollars, right? If you're buying from the US, fantastic. It's not say cheaper, but in US dollars, that's why the number is different. So 499 initial impression is, is it worth your money? $500 is a PlayStation 5 to be precise or Xbox uh, Series X. Yep, that's for sure. And um, the good thing is portability, right? This thing is basically portability and you cannot put a price tag on portability under the PS5 nor the Xbox X. However, they have streaming service, so things might change. Okay, let's see some of the Q&A before we go to the technical specs to see whether it's worth paying 499 Canadian dollars, right? Then cancel reservation. Yes, you can cancel that you refunded payment method use cancel after 30 days. All right, cool. So basically $5.70 will be credited back to your Steam account, which is, I think it's okay, right? $5.70 to reserve. How many Steam Deck? One, all right, one per customer. That's, that's right, restrictions, yep. So if you are having a new account prior to June 2021, you, Ah, first 48 hours. Okay, cool. So basically really past the threshold. So it's all right. Do I need Steam account? Obviously, no, I will reserve right now. All right, cool. So nothing much about the Q&A in terms of stack. It's mainly about reservation, right? So before we go to which one would I pick and which one should you pick, let's check out the tech specs. And uh, let's see how it is, all right. The pad, that's great, all right. Definitely looks like a Switch touch trackpad. All right, okay, I'm gonna say touchpad. Speaker, Steam, quick access, all right, and very normal, all right. Very normal layout, all right. Volume L2, R2, the, the headphone jack, Type-C port, actually interesting. All right, most important part is the processor. AMD APU with a C Zen CPU. We have 2.4 to 3.5 gigahertz, that's, all right, that's actually quite good. But then again, when you say 2.4 to 3.5, it's a Zen 2, technically it's not a full blast or not say, it's not top, end of the top of the line processor. So you're gonna say somewhere around the, I would say entry level of a gaming laptop, right? Entry, no, nah, I wouldn't say entry level, probably it's a little bit better than an entry level, right? For now, because a lot of reviews out there in YouTube that I've watched, 
great, fantastic. But question is, is it that good? Right, GPU, we have 1.6 T flops. Actually, it's not that bad, but it's not that good. Nice part is the APU power, right? 15 watt powers will tell you how much would the graphic processor pull out anyway. So that's, I think it's, yeah, I can easily say it's probably a mid-tier gaming laptop processor plus a built-in graphic card. Best thing is, not the best thing, the closest thing to check on to, uh, how you call this, uh, compare is most likely the M1 chip from Apple, right? Even though Apple one's a bit expensive, like for example, the iPad Pro is about 1100 Canadian dollars. So this sucker is selling for half price, all right? And see, let's see how good it is. 16 gig, all right, that's basically normal. I would prefer 32, but then again, 16 on a small little package is quite good, all right? 64 GB eMMC, all right? eMMC, eh, PCI, nah, now, nah, right? We want the NVMe. So by default, we want the 256 already, which is basically 600 plus, all right? Uh, 512 GB high speed NVMe, of course, this is the best, but uh, if you look at this, not much big of a difference. And then we can see what's the type. So it's an M2 NVMe. Fantastic. That's a good, clear indication. Uh, ABX, so the, the pad, all right, normal, 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 2 Nick 8 HD haptic, normal, 6 IMU, normal. Display, all right, this is very important. Sadly, it's not a full HD. That's why it can run games at medium settings and look at the resolution. It's easily a telltale sign of mid-tier laptop, all right? Simple as that. Uh, IPS LCD, that's actually quite interesting, all right? I prefer AMOLED if you're gonna go for a small little screen because Nintendo Switch has updated to AMOLED. Yeah, I'll take that, but IPS is good. 7 inch, all right, starting point, that's great. 400 nits, all right, 60 hertz, that's normal. Of course, you're not gonna get 120 like the Razer phone, but the Razer phone is way too expensive, plus it's not available to buy. A bit sad, all right, a bit sad. Uh, Bluetooth 5.0, dual band Wi-Fi radio, all right, normal. Stereo, dual microphone array, 3.5, cool, cool, cool. Input. 45 watt USB Type C, right? This is a clear indication it's basically an iPad Pro workhorse unit. The only question is 499. It's definitely cheaper. That means the hardware is not iPad Pro level. Definitely not M1 chip uh, level. Of course, we have to dial it back a little bit. But at the same time, it's not an Apple product. So it is probably safe to say that it's cheaper, right? Yeah, because if this is a 90 watt USB type C, now that's a whole different unit, right? If it's a 90 watt USB type C power supply for the watt, but you know, right, that's normal. Micro SD, right? We don't really care about that. Of course, having a SD card is great, right? Steam OS. So if this follows exactly like how I think it is, it's like Switch. And Switch is $399, $100 cheaper. That's interesting, KDE Plasma. So this is basically a Linux, right? And uh, if we have an official dock, HDMI 2.0 power in internet, 3.1, all right, this is standard. That's why I want to get this guy because HDMI out, internet, inter, not internet, ethernet, all right, ether, come on, expansion. Yeah, one, da, 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 ethernet, all right, cool. This is basically dock, all right. So we have that tech spec. So all in all, I think it's an okay unit, right? It's an okay unit. Question is 64 GB eMMC. Sadly, this is out of the loop. 499 for this, I don't think it's, not say not worth it, but 64 GB, tough, right? It's a tough call because $160, you get not twice, but four times more space, right? And at the same time, it's NVMe, which means it's faster. You get a carrying case. All right, that's it. $160. The only difference is because if I look at the SSD price, oh no, sorry, the M2 NVMe prices, uh, 512 GB is about $80. If I up that to one terabyte, it's twice the price, which is $100. 
that is 512 to 1 tera, right? And if it's a 512 gig, if I go down to 256, all right? Uh, I think it's around 40, all right? Last calculated using the Samsung 970 Evo, I think it's about easily, all right? 30, 30 Canadian dollars plus tax and whatnot, you know what, 40 Canadian dollars. Still, so $100 just for carrying case is a little bit uh, painful, right? Painful. But compared to what we have the EMMC, I think $160 extra is worth putting it. That is provided you if you are ready to put $499 to this little peripheral, all right? So that's very interesting. Most gaming power helped. Da -da. Steam Deck 499, right? December, yeah, we already seen this. See this, all right? Cool. Jedi Fallen Order. If this is max settings, perfect. It's an instant pickup for me because I like portable gaming. And what is better for a portable gaming is at least I can combo with PC games. And at the same time, because I'm a Stadia user, this thing is. Perfect, all right? If I can't play AAA games at full spec, at least it's a handheld device or a handheld PC that I can play with Stadia. And you can say, oh, you know what? Why don't you I use a phone instead? The answer is I have been using it and it's perfect. In fact, I've used it with an iPad. It's even fun, although I don't own an iPad, which is a bit sad. So you get the point, right? It's nice to own a device with a built-in joystick and stuff and at the same time if i'm going to buy a phone to play stadia it costs roughly around the same price anyway all right having a dedicated device to play all my mobile games it's great all right now the deal breaker let's see about software uh, the deal breaker of this sucker is only one thing all right because it's a linux program all right so we do not know can it get more or say uh, other services like xCloud, uh, Remote PS, and whatnot, right? If the answer is yes, then this thing is perfect. Not only you can just play Steam game, but you can play all your console cloud games on it with the sh simple price tag of 499 because now you don't really need storage if you're going to play cloud, right? And 7-inch dedicated gaming device, I think is fantastic. And then once you get the dock, you can treat it as a, nope pocket pc and this is cheaper than a pocket pc that's why i am a bit skeptical about the specs all right that's one small little problem about this thing right we saw about the hardware i think it's great right not the best but i think it's okay oh didn't realize there's a l4 and l5 trigger on the bottom seven touch track pan gyro all right, cool. It has basically it's a phone, right? It's a gigantic phone, but it doesn't call. <laughs> fast storage, hi-fi audio, we don't care about. I mean, hi-fi audio is okay, but we want fast storage. Battery, expandable I.O., very important. Wireless, very important. Fast suspend resume, uh, I don't think it's that needed, but it's a good touch. All right, it's always good touch. This is the one I'm looking at. Use your deck as a PC because it is one. This is the most important one. Plus, it can do my web surfing. So that's the main reason why I don't mind getting this. But at the price tag at four nine nine, it is a premium product. Even though Steam's or rather, Gaben says it's not. All right, they are losing money. Per... No, nah. no, nope, it's tough. Very tough. Very tough. They might be actually just selling it at cost price, which I think it is. They're selling at cost price, and then they're trying to boost up their sales through here. All right, Steam chat, remote play, notification stop, right? No, 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 normal, normal, normal. I think that's about it. I think that's about it. All in all, should you get it, all right? If you're low on cash, or not say low on cash. Normally, I would say first adopter is the most painful adopter. It is either a hit or a miss. I'm going to use Stadia for example. So when Stadia came out, 169 Canadian dollars. Yes, I know it's way less than this, but even that, people also are skeptical that Stadia is dead, which is, well, perfectly good because it's a good reason because Stadia doesn't have games back then. And now we have so many games and Stadia is technically awesome, right? Same goes with a lot of other services. But of course, we also have services that 
died, right? If you remember, Ouya, it's dead. Uh, if I, there's another one, it's um, Cloud X Play, no. Cloud Play, I've forgotten this, it's basically another online streaming service before Stadia, dead, all right? Literal dead. So right now, Steam Deck, in fact, Steam Controller, if you realize it's not really a great success, but at the same time, it's actually an interesting product, right? And uh, the only difference is Steam Control was cheap, this thing it's not. So when you are buying something new, always remember that you are the first buyer, the first adopter. If it takes off, fantastic. You have all the bragging rights. If it doesn't take off, then good luck, right? Good luck. Oh, another good example is Google Glass, right? Google Glass is one of those things that I wanted to buy back then. It was a nice little tech little gadget, but as you can know, it's not available anymore, all right? So consider tech specs and everything. I think it's okay, all right? I've seen other handheld devices as well and their price tag and this thing is going very cheap. My money right now is because it's half price to any of the uh, handheld PCs out there, right? Yeah, and uh, 499, I think it's a good call, not say pricey, but I think it's a good entry price, 499. Personally, I would say go for the 659, just a little bit higher because you want to enjoy 256 gig of NVMe SSD, plus it has a carrying case. This is one thing I would definitely click. Now, the only question is, do I want the premium anti-glare edge glass plus exclusive steam com nah, nah, we don't care about that right I, but i'm a sucker for virtual stuff as well see exclusive virtual keyboard team that's uh, you know what 160 dollars the 512 is just not worth it right i'm gonna say straight up it's just not worth it all right five uh 256 gig this is the best i think all around right 499 great, but 64 eMMC. This one gets you a carrying case plus a faster storage, right? I think that's great. This one doesn't offer anything more than storage and stuff. In fact, the extra cash that you have, 160 Canadian dollars, why might as well just buy a SD card and just slide it in, right? I think that's it. So all in all, I think this is worth checking out, but if you're not comfortable being the early adopter, which I always recommend not to. Wait for it to come out, wait for review, and get Steam Deck V2 if it's successful. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.